Now, stakeholders in the geothermal energy sector are exploring solutions to reduce lead times for developing projects while trying to determine how to leverage investments to stimulate the growth of the industry. This is the focus of a three-day conference held by the African Rift Geothermal Development Facility, which started today. Now, geothermal development company general manager Peter Omenda said they are seeking to promote geothermal resource development and utilization by reducing the risk associated with the resource exploration. He now joins us from our, from our studios um, in Nairobi, Kenya. Mr. Omenda, thank you so much. Um, you were saying that geothermal is usually considered as capital investment um, because you have to spend so much money before you get, uh, you know, the steam at this end of the conference. How are companies meant to mitigate the kind of risk involved in, in, in this kind of, of um, you know, um, exploration? Yes, you're right. Geothermal is usually considered capital intensive because you have to spend quite some money before you're able to get any returns. And for example, in Kenya, we are lucky that the government has decided to uh, consider geothermal energy as the least cost source of power. And therefore, we are getting a lot of support from the government to reduce the risks involved in uh, sinking of dry holes. But I'd like to mention that uh, KFW and the African Union Commission have set up a geothermal risk mitigation facility that will uh, compensate investors who drill exploration wells that turn out to be dry or non-productive. And this will certainly spur economic development and exploitation of geothermal resources in, in the East Africa region. Mm -hmm. Now, you've gotten a lot of buy-in from governments. What is the private sector bringing to the party, um, especially if one considers that um, you know, one has to put in quite a bit of uh, 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 capital before you see a return on investment? What the meeting is coming up with is that uh, the government must show commitment to geothermal development. For example, in, in Kenya, what we are doing as GDC is uh, to drill the initial exploration wells, and we hope to use the geothermal risk mitigation facility to drill wells in all uh, unexplored fields, and then invite the private sector to come in to support, uh, support us in uh, production drilling. And with that, certainly we believe that uh, the risk to the private sector will be reduced, and that will lead to lowering the cost of uh, electricity to the and consumer. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Omenda, obviously this is a highly specialized field. You need engineers, you need people with very scarce skills. Uh, in African countries, that is often, you know, a deficit in, in economies. Um, how does uh, the requirement for skills, particularly scarce skills, impact on the cost um, in terms of um, getting this, um, uh, you know, part of, of, of economic development going? Uh, you're right, human capacity in geothermal development has been very low. And in many countries in Eastern Africa, they don't have enough engineers and scientists that can see through geothermal development. And uh, in Kenya, as an example, at GDC, what you're trying to do to uh, mitigate this situation is to set up a training center where we'll be able to train many Kenyans. And of course, we'll open the opportunity to our neighboring countries to bring in their engineers and scientists to be drain, trained on geothermal technology. And uh, what we have realized is that uh, when you use local expertise, the cost of geothermal development comes down significantly. Hmm. And eventually, our idea is to get uh, the cheapest cost of electricity to the end uh, user, consumer. What are the prospects uh, going formal for the geothermal um, you know, sector, uh, particularly in, in a region like East Africa? Uh, in East Africa, geothermal had been, has been hindered by, number one, lack of adequate funding, human capacity. But coming out of the meeting that we have, we have uh, institutions that are pledged to support geothermal development in the region in terms of human capacity development and even financing. And at the end of the conference, we'll come up with clear resolutions on what the governments and uh, the donor community can do to spark, to spark growth in this region. So we are seeing a great future for geothermal in Eastern Africa.